Me and my mom will give you right to real creepy sightings on camera. Are you ready for this? No. What do you think that is? Oi! Look at that person. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some creepy clips that no one can quite explain. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. I don't know why Just I'm like even this. watching this. I don't like scary stuff. Well, we need to watch it, see if these things are real. Because it says real creepy sightings. We need to identify if this is real or not. Our first clip of the day was captured by TikTok user Mark DeFalco. In May 2022, Mark noticed that a car had driven through a fence at a local cemetery. He took out his phone and this is what he captured. What did you see? Lucky they didn't hit none of these tombstones. There's nothing there. Real lucky. Straight away, you can see the carnage. Hello? But then, what as he approaches the... the car, watch what happens. Why are we watching this? You okay? <gasps> uh oh. Something's giving in the car. What the hell? There's no one there. What the fuck is going on here? There ain't nobody there. Miss? He heard a noise and there's no one there. Do you think he's just putting some voice over? He's Hello? in the grave yet. Watching that again, as Mark walks towards the car, you can hear what sounds like a woman crying. Yeah. This guy's definitely just putting some voice over. Okay. When he looks closer, there's no one in or around the car. What the fuck is going on here? There ain't nobody there. Miss? Hello? Despite only running through a wire fence, the car looks pretty badly damaged. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? This, you think this is fake? You think he just drove through and just pretended just so that he can just show everyone, oh, by the way, something was here. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Do you think that happened? Well, like I mentioned in the other video, anything is possible. That hey, could be real. Nobody there. Miss? Hello? So if there's no one in the car, then where's the crying coming from? This eerie little detail coupled with the graveyard setting has led many viewers to suggest that something paranormal is going on here. I saw a horse here. What horse? There was a horse there. That's a horse, right? What? Look, it's moving. Oh. There's no one in the car, then where's the crying coming from? This eerie little detail coupled with the graveyard setting has led many viewers to suggest that something paranormal is going on here. But what do you think? An Alabama local has captured something mysterious on a home security camera, and it's making residents question whether alien activity is happening close to their homes. The clip was uploaded to TikTok by Ashtar Spaceship News. It's a little after 10 p.m. on November 29th, 2022, when the home CCTV system captures this. What's that? A light? A plane? An angel? Several lights flash in the night sky. One then takes off at considerable speed before disappearing from view. The Margaret, Alabama resident says that similar sightings had been happening all month and that he has two hard drives full of video evidence. He's certain that the object isn't a weather balloon, a passing satellite or a shooting star. Maybe smoke. I'm not sure. Maybe an angel. I believe in angels. An angel on camera. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The southeastern state of Alabama is no stranger to famous UFO encounters. That one's fake. That on one. February 11 and 12 in 1989, the small town of Fife, Alabama was subjected to what many call an alien invasion. Over the course of two days, as many as 50 residents reported seeing bright, disc-shaped objects flying erratically in the night sky. The local police chief, Junior Garmany, and his assistant responded to the flooding 911 calls regarding the unidentified flying object. Soon, they too could see the lights in the sky as they approached overhead. Local resident Ted Oliphant managed to capture this image using his Polaroid camera. I think maybe in the days before the social media age, people just had too much time to just be making up stories. No. Yes. Come on, look Look at that. Like people are just like, oh, I think I've seen something. I keep seeing something. We hear less today because everyone's on their phones. Everyone's distracted all the time. No, I think there's a lot going on in the world. Um, there's a lot of things living amongst us 
um, if you're lucky enough, you might see one. And you can see a dark. If you're lucky or unlucky, if you go abducted, then. A disc shaped object in the air. Ted Oliphant's famous Polaroid has since been archived with an Alabama historical group and is often considered hard evidence of the 1989 Fife UFO incident. This isn't the only historical mass UFO sighting in Alabama either. On the evening of July 24, 1948, pilots Clarence Childs and John Witted were flying their Douglas DC-3 airplane from Houston to Atlanta when they encountered what they described as a UFO flying over Montgomery, Alabama. According to their account, the UFO approached their plane head on and flew above them, revealing itself to be a cylindrical object with two rows of windows and an intense bluish white light emanating from them. The UFO then flew off into the distance at high speed. The Charles Witted UFO encounter is considered by many to be one of the most well-documented UFO sightings in history. Both Charles and Witted were experienced pilots with good reputation. Either that, or if I went into a garage, right, and I started building something, then I started flying it in the sky, everyone would think that's a UFO because they've never seen some type of thing like that before. Like, yeah. I don't think people have time to do those things. Have time and, to and, go to and build stuff. And anyway, as soon as you get into the airspace, they will be able to detect you. Anything that is man-made can be detected in the airspace. So... They'll have to send, like, you know, I don't know, those jets to tell you to, you know, not be in the airspace because they're always monitoring that kind of space. So for Reed to be noticed, it's because it wasn't detected. They noticed it, but it wasn't detected by the airspace. Um, I don't know what to call them, but yeah. Yeah, we are not alone in this world. And I also believe they're angels. So most of the time I'm leaning more on the angel side. Yes, they are aliens. But they're also angels like we um, we saw in the last clip. Tations and their detailed descriptions of the UFO and its movements have been widely regarded as credible. In addition, several other witnesses on ground reported seeing the UFO at around the same time as the pilots. There have been various explanations proposed for the Charles Witted UFO encounter, including the possibility that it was a hoax or a misidentification of a known aircraft. However, some UFO researchers believe that it was a genuine encounter with an extraterrestrial spacecraft. They point to the fact that the UFO was able to fly at speeds and perform maneuvers that were far beyond the capabilities of any known aircraft at the time, as well as the fact it had a distinctly non-human made appearance. While it's impossible to definitively prove or disprove the existence of extraterrestrial life at this point, the Charles Witted UFO encounter remains an intriguing and mysterious event that continues to capture the imagination of people around the world. So it would seem the Margaret CCTV sighting is just another addition to Alabama's long history of mysterious UFO incidents. I've actually seen this on TikTok already. You don't like, you don't want to see this? I've seen this on TikTok already. I've seen this. I don't want to see this. Oh my gosh. This next I'm one's been one going eye. viral this past couple of weeks. It's reported to have been ah. filmed somewhere in Tanzania and appears to show something truly strange taking place. Take a look. <laughs> Mama. So what do you think happened to her? <laughs> Witchcraft. The clip, which was uploaded to TikTok by Dan So she's just gonna go about walking about with um, camel camel feet from now on. Danny Cruz appears to show a ritual of some kind. The woman on the ground seems to have a tail and the legs of a goat. No one seems to know the full story behind this strange little clip, but some commenters said that the woman was being punished for being unfaithful to her husband. Tanzania is a country with a diverse population and there are many different spiritual beliefs and practices present in the country. The majority of the population is Christian with a significant minority being Muslim. There are also smaller numbers of Hindus, Buddhists and followers of traditional African religions. Traditional African religions in Tanzania often involve the belief in a supreme being, ancestor worship and the presence of spirits and deities in natural objects and phenomena. 
These beliefs and practices are often intertwined with daily life and are an important part of the cultural identity but of don't, many... But don't you think that's quite a hard punishment to have goat feet and goat tail? Yeah, but then it goes to show how women are always being put through all this kind of nonsense just because, you know, somebody, you know, felt like, oh, she couldn't be with somebody else and stuff like that. I know, of course, it's not unchristian like to... I don't, you know, encourage infidelity, but then what do you gain by doing that to another human being? I don't know. You just gain pleasure just seeing them hurt for some reason because you feel like they hurt you. Yeah, but, you know, you some of the practices, I just don't understand them. Uh, I feel like if you're not happy with somebody, it's best to you just leave. Just leave, leave them, yeah. Just leave and go and one day you find someone who will match your energy than to make somebody else, you know, go through all that pain and it's just some Tanzanians may also believe in the existence of magic and the ability of certain individuals to perform magic or communicate with the supernatural. Mm. It's likely that some traditional African cultures in Tanzania include shamanic practices, although the specific beliefs and practices may vary from one community to another. Shamanism is a spiritual practice that involves the use of altered states of consciousness to communicate with spirits and deities, often for the purpose of healing or divination. In some traditional African cultures, shamans, also known as healers or medicine men and women, may play a central role in the spiritual life of the community, providing spiritual guidance and performing rituals to communicate with the spirit world. So what do you think? Are we seeing some but kind of wild magic? If she got goat feet, then that means she kind of she kind of knew that I was going to be her fate if she done anything wrong to her husband. No, but you, you don't know. I don't think she knew that's what was going to happen to her. But she yeah. doesn't even look sad. She looks like she's just taking it. No, she's... What do you do? She's there. She's being prayed for or whatever the, the traditional healer is trying to, you know rebuke that spirit or get that spirit out of her so that she can be restored back to her normal form but it's just horrible yeah you know people doing that to other human beings there's too much suffering going on in the world and you know i'm sure if she knew that's that's who, that's what was going to happen to her maybe she wouldn't have committed crime but then by the way you know in scotland years back the history like if somebody accused a woman of being a witch and then they'll try to drown the woman yeah or they'll try to hang you if you don't get if you don't die then you are a, either a very strong witch they'll try to drown you if you still don't die they'll still try something else you know until you're dead it's all but at the end of the day they all do it in the name of religion or in the name of religion or yeah. in the name of a uh, is it loyalty or is it I don't know what it is, but it's just horrible when somebody else. When they like were doing that in Scotland before, they were just thinking. Um, they were just thinking back to maybe an old test, an old testament in the Bible where you'd have to stone to death, no, or you'd have to yeah. kill the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's there's just one person saying you committed that crime, and there's no evidence whether you committed the crime or not. Someone, your neighbor might just not like you, and they were like, "Oh, she's a witch," and then authorities come take you. Kill you. So um, I believe a lot of women were killed unlawfully mm. uh, because of these accusations. We don't know what this woman has done, but you know, it's just wrong. It's just wrong, you know, doing that to another human being. Banish them, kick them out of the 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 town, or you know, let them go and be, but don't destroy them like that. You could play here, or is it all just a little too far fetched? Let me know where you land on this strange piece of footage the only in the way, comments. The only way that this could be faked is if they've dug a hole for her, she's put her legs inside the hole, then they've gotten some goat or cow or camel or whatever, yeah. they've stuck the feet there, and then maybe the tail is being like a, someone's got a string there yeah. and is waving it. Yeah. That's the only way that it could be faked. And she could be just using an example for everyone else so that they scare off anybody that's doing anything. Yeah, that's possible. When I was growing up, I remember there were times when we used to watch this kind of stuff. Not not really quite like this, but um, you find someone had needles all over their body, like children had needles all over their body. Mm. So when they go to the hospital and they'll, they're, they'll be taken to a hospital because they can't see it, they're in so much pain. And um, needles as in real needles, real needles. Oh dear! And then the doctors will be trying to take some of the needles out, and you're thinking, how can someone have so many needles in their body? Yeah. And then in the end, you'll find out that 
somebody did not like the fact that maybe the other wife had a child so they had to make that child suffer just because i'm not happy mm. so all these practices they're just so difficult to but digest. then by you hearing that story you'd even so like let's say they fake the story right mm -hmm. by you hearing that story you'll be scared to do anything that's wrong to do that anyways so if they faked it they've still they've still kind of made it real They've still kind of tricked everyone. But I don't know how you can fake needles in a child's body. And you can see the child really crying. I don't know. Well, I don't know. But mm. then human beings can do really um, heinous, you know, things to other human beings. And stand alone. <laughs> Mama. She looks like she's making fun of me. <laughs> Everybody also looks so comfortable. How? Oh, oh, no. In late 2022, Reddit user Triple Z747's neighbor caught something unusual on their home security system. It's a little after 1 a.m. when this happens. Wait one sec, the thing's about to go off. Wait, let me just play. When the OP posted the clip to Reddit, they weren't making any assumptions. Instead, they were curious if anyone could explain the bizarre sighting. He noted that the camera is motion activated, so whatever it is, it was enough to trigger the camera to start filming. No. Naturally, a slew of Ghostbuster quotes poured into the comments section, but a few said it could be someone smoking just outside of the view of the camera. That's Others true. suggested it could be steam from a vent or clothes yep. dryer. So what do you think? Is there a natural yes, way to explain the odd cloud of mist? Or is there something a little more steam mysterious from going the on? Boiler vent. Yep, steam from the boiler vent. It could be someone smoking or someone could have a barbecue next door. It's mm -hmm. dark, so it, so those things are more visible. If this is in the morning, no one will notice it. Case closed. on here. Watch the clip again and make your own mind up. Before we take a look at some eerie footage that's been captured in Pakistan, remember to hit that subscribe button. That loop every take a right hand, shake it out. How many people here want to learn faster? How many people want to... Wokya Hoga, our official, is a paranormal YouTube channel based in Pakistan. Now we already can tell what's real and what's not real. A paranormal YouTube channel. Stan. They travel the country in search of proof that ghosts really do exist. In this episode, they travel to a dilapidated old house that's long been abandoned. Locals say that the house is haunted by the spirits of dead children and that on some dark nights, you can actually see their shadowy silhouettes in the empty rooms of the deserted home. Spurred on by these rumors, the team of paranormal investigators begin to search the property. Before long, they spot something strange on the roof of the building. <laughs> it looks like a strange, thin, humanoid figure. Zoom in! No, people are just not... Okay, people are not... Um, even ghosts, whether they're real or whether they're not real, they're not stupid. They can see that you're recording. So, they're, they're, why would they show themselves if you're recording? And his reaction is, says it all as well. You're supposed to be scared if you see stuff like that. Then, moments later in one of the rooms, they spot a small child crouching in the corner. Corner! 